Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The three real steps that you can actually follow to achieve something in life. So step one, create a goal board, write it all down, visualize what you want to achieve in this life, and look at it every day. Make yourself look at it every single day so you have no choice but to, you know? Okay, step two, dose, is to, and it, this is kind of a loaded thing, but get disciplined, get a planner, and get organized. That's a lot, that's like three things in one step, but I feel like that's a, one step you can put all together with. So, with the planner, I want to go into a little bit more detail about that, and just show you my planner, and my husband's planner, and give you a quick little overview of these. See, first we will go into mine. So, um, this planner I just picked up at like Hobby Lobby. It's just a typical planner. I can't think of uh, what the brand is that made this. Paper, t the Paper Studio. So, yeah. Oh, and this was some kind of a diagram, I promise. <laughs> it looks kind of awful, but yeah, that was a diagram. Okay, so 2020. And I'm just going to give you guys like a quick idea of how to do this. I'm not going to really go in depth unless you want to see that video. And if you do, just comment below and I can see what we can get into. So what I want to do is put my 2020 goals at the beginning of my planner. So I'm going to kind of cover this because I don't want to... Even though I showed you on the board, it, this kind of goes into a little bit more detail. So put your overall goals at the very beginning of a planner. And then what you want to do next is to go into that month and write down the goals for January. So, okay, one of the main main goals I want to work on is my mental health and get into a good place there. So, one of the things that I wanted to do was start a meditation slash mind schedule. And I'm sorry that this is not focusing that great. There we go. I think that's... Is that working? A little bit better. Okay, so... And on top of having a meditation schedule and working out, um, I have added this sheet that has a picture of Joe Rogan on here. And I called it my mental health worksheet. And it's just something I made up. And it says, write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. And write down things you never want to see yourself do again. So, um, give you give you an idea. The things I want to improve is my confidence, having fun, um, going out and outside more, breathing, staying calm, being patient, and listening more when people are talking to me. Actually, pay more attention to when people are talking to me, because sometimes I'll get so excited about what we're talking about that I only think about the next thing that I'm about to say and, and don't really listen to what the other person's telling me, which is extremely rude. <laughs> So I'm going to work on that. And um, things I won't tolerate from myself is being too harsh on myself. Uh, not accomplishing anything, no matter how big or small it might be. And the things I'm never going to do again is believe that I can't do or be whatever I want to be. So those are some big things. But uh, I put those down for the month of February. I've already got some down in here for March. And um, yeah, so what do I do is break down the goals by month from the beginning of the month so i'll put them here and then what i do from there is go into my week and actually break that down even further because the biggest thing that you need to realize is that this is going to be a day-to-day -day thing this isn't going to be you put this goal on this board and then it's it's just going to happen no you have to do something every single day to get closer to that goal you can't just put it on there and it's going to happen, obviously. So, um, what I do too is at the end of the month, I'll put what did I slash we, me and my husband, accomplish this month. And I'll show you um, one for January, just to give you an idea here, if I can get to January. So, what we did, we reorganized our shed outside. It's been a mess for over a few years now, and we finally got it reorganized. Um, we sorted out our bedroom closet, got a new organization system in there. Um, we completely redid our laundry room. I have that video up on my channel. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it if you're into like DIY, HGTV type things. <laughs> I thought it was fun and it showed 
honestly uh how messy that room had gotten so yeah we got we did that we uh bought new appliances which really isn't a goal but it's something that kind of set us back on the savings but i'm looking at that as i achieved that even though this didn't get to take place it's okay life happens uh our appliances went out so we didn't really have a choice we just we had to so and then um, I started my YouTube channel and I posted one video in January. So I was super proud of myself for doing that because I'd put off working on this channel for the longest time because of my perfectionist mentality and thinking that I couldn't do it. So we are tackling that this year. I'm gonna stay on top of it. So yeah, that that's uh, what I would recommend doing is to break your goals down monthly, weekly, and then literally daily and then see what you've accomplished that month and then that way each month like i think I, uh, one of the goals i have is to like completely have my home organized and, and in a way that i can keep it going and so reorganizing the shed sorting out the closet doing stuff like that is going to make your life simpler you don't have to think so much about the mess and all the other stuff you have going on it just makes life easier and that's how you can break down your goals. And it, your goals don't have to be something crazy. Like, I want to be president of the United States. I mean, that's, that can be that if that's what you want. But um, even just basic things, you know, that would be simple to other people, go ahead and do it. If it's something you've been putting off for a long time or something that needs to get done and you really, really need it done and you want it done, go after it. Break it down into doable tasks. That would be a, a super huge tip too, is to make it doable. So yeah, this is my planner. Um, my husband said he didn't mind if I showed you his planner. Um, this is one that I helped him make. We just picked this up, I think again, at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And this is literally, I think, one of the ones that you can add to a binder or something. I think it was like the monthly one. You are capable of doing amazing things. Yes, you are. So here's his yearly goals. And then we broke it down into monthly goals, just like mine. Um, and then we have it down into daily tasks. And he puts on here when he works, when he works overtime, um, when we get paid, when he's doing his workouts, when he's eating better, when he's doing stuff around the house. And this is just something that I help him uh, work on right now and have it broke down, like I said, by the month. And I have his goals on here too, uh, goals he accomplished for the month. Uh, I don't think he minds me saying these. Uh, replaced unhealthy food items. He worked out consistently. He cleaned out his man cave. He practiced martial arts techniques. Martial arts techniques. That was a tongue twister. You can kind of see the outline of the camera <laughs> on here. And uh, he worked overtime to pay for some of the stuff that he's been wanting. For a little while oops sorry guys so yeah that is uh this is my husband's planner and it's basically laid out it doesn't matter what this is just to show you too it doesn't matter what kind of planner you have you can break this down and you don't even have to have a planner if you don't even if you can't afford a planner if you have just basic white sheets of paper in a binder or just sheets of paper like a little plain Jane notebook you can break it down still break it down into doable tasks and just I would say refer back to at the beginning of each month, refer back to your yearly goal. What can you do this month that's going to help you to overall achieve that yearly goal? And then each week, refer back to your monthly goals. What can I do this week that's going to help me break down that monthly goal? So it, just breaking everything down into doable tasks is a huge thing. So the last step, super important step, you ain't going to believe what this last step is. And I think Nike said it best. Just freaking do it. I don't think they said freaking. But just do it. Honestly, just do it. I mean, if you absolutely can't do it that day, it's okay. Do it tomorrow. But don't make tomorrow turn into next week, next month, next year. Give yourself a time frame. For me, I honestly don't allow myself any more time than a week to complete something that I put down as a daily task. And absolutely everything that I put down for that month, unless life happens, it has to be completed in that month. So everything that I put at the beginning of one of these planners right here, um, like March, goals for March, absolutely every single one of these has to be done. 
no matter what they have to be done because this is going to affect my overall goal and if I don't do it then I won't achieve that goal so has to be done and overall this is my favorite quote I, I came up with it myself somebody else might have said it before me if you find that out then just let me know <laughs> but you will never achieve anything by doing nothing just just remember that you can think yourself into oblivion and and just be at a standstill and never move never accomplish anything because you're too afraid or you're too worried or too whatever put fill in the blank but you're not going to achieve anything by sitting there and, and thinking that way and, and doing nothing and your time is worth so much more than you think you know grass grows where it's watered you can't expect green grass when you never even plant a seed you got to do something every day week month year if you want to obtain your goals and honestly you are truly the only one that's keeping you from getting there and you know one of my biggest things is uh, procrastination <laughs> it's one of my big weaknesses but I'm, I'm also gonna be working on that um, just don't make excuses and write it down and then ultimately just do it guys that's the biggest thing is you can plan all you want to you can make these boards you can talk about it you can think about it a lot but if you ever do it then you're never gonna achieve it so uh, I hope so I mean let me just reiterate those three steps for you one more time step one create a goal board write it write it down look at it every single day step two get disciplined get a planner and get organized and step three just do it bottom line whatever you got to do to make yourself just do it every single day week month year so get out there and make this all come to life I know you guys can do it I believe in you if you have any tips and tricks and goal ideas down below, leave them for me in the comments. I would like to actually have a conversation with you guys, believe it or not. So, <laughs> if you're watching, please leave me a comment. Just say hi if you want to. It would be nice. So, it's helped in some way, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. See y'all.